Hi, my name is Jake and I'm with Snowblowers Direct and today we're going to go over what happens when you get a three-stage snowblower delivered to you. The tools you're going to need for this job are a knife to cut the box on the bottom, needle nose pliers for the pins, a 9 16th wrench, a half inch wrench, and an adjustable wrench to get the bolts out for assembly. Right now the process is the truck driver just delivered to my driveway and we want to make sure we go over it with the driver, make sure there's no damages around the box or the crate or anything, so we're good to go. There's a dotted line on the bottom of the box, we want to cut that all the way around and once we do that we're going to lift up the box and make sure there's no damages. Everything looks okay, all the pieces are here. We got some parts that we have to take off that we're going to put on later. So you're going to have your uh, chute adjustment here, we're going to have our manual that's on here. All the instructions on assembly it are inside of this, the key to start it up is inside of this. And we also have the chute that we're going to have to put on. Because it is connected right now, so we're just going to gently put this aside. So the first step assembling the snowblower is putting the handlebars in the upright position and making sure the wires are not crimped or anything. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So when putting up the handlebars, we have four bolts that we're going to have to adjust in there. You're going to have to take two of them out to swivel these up. Once you get this in the upright position, we're going to put the other bolts in, half tighten them, and then we'll tighten them all down and get this in the right position. And that's going to be using a half inch wrench to tighten these bolts down. After you get the handlebars up, the next step is the drive control rod. We're going to want to make sure it's clear of all the wires. We want to make sure you have the needle nose pliers to pull the pin out. And we're going to go ahead and assemble that right now. Right now we're going to move on to step three and that's putting the chute on. And for this you're going to need a 9 16 wrench and an adjustable wrench. So here we are taking the bolts out for the chute. We're going to have to take both of these out. Right now we're putting the chute on. We're going to make sure it's lined up with the bracket. We're going to make sure the wires are out of the way so we don't um, snag them or crimp them or anything like that. You see we're sliding the bolts in here. We're definitely going to try and get those in by hand and we'll tighten them up with the wrenches in a little bit. Step four, we're going to put on the chute control cable and for this we're going to need the needle nose pliers. Now we're going to pull this pin out. You want to make sure you put that in the first hole. You can see there's two holes here. Put the pin back in and then we're going to connect the other end to the control. So now we're ready to go with the chute. Step five now, we have everything assembled. We want to make sure we check the oil. All the two stage and three stage Cub Cadet snowblowers come with oil in them, but sometimes it can spill out, so you just want to double check the oil. If it's good, we're ready to put gas in it and drive it off the crate. When you're ready to start it, make sure you get some fresh gasoline to make sure it starts right up for you. Now that we have it all assembled, we're going to grab the manual and get the key out of it to start it. We're going to put the key in, we're going to turn the throttle to the high position, we're going to turn the choke to the left position, then we're going to have to prime it and then pull it to start. If you happen to lose the key in the manual, we always have one zip tied to the recoil here. When you're ready to drive that off the skid, make sure it's in low gear, press the drive control and it will ride right off for you. 